So the U.S.-Mexico now, a lot of people will be celebrating it as a great achievement for the United States. And it's a pretty good result indeed because now it's a point and now it's much easier to qualify for the World Cup. But Juan Carlos Osorio is a conservative coach for Mexico. And what he did is to give America a helping hand. He was so afraid of conceding a goal on a set piece as was the case in the previ with previous Mexican-USA contest. He ended up fielding a 4-2-3-1 lineup with four central defenders who provided almost no penetration going forwards. Now, a typical 4-2-3-1, you know, sort of like anybody who plays 4-2-3-1 everywhere else, has two attacking fullbacks because they're the ones who provide width. So Asori refused to play, refused to field fullbacks. He had Layun, he had some left backs. Now, he refused to field them from the beginning. Finally, he took out one of the central defenders and put in a fullback. That's a, gave him a little width, but he put in a left fullback on the same side as Chucky Lozano. So what happens is that Lozano had to tuck in to allow the overlap. So they still didn't get any kind of a width on the left side, or occasional width. But on the right, they still, they still had none. So, because Carlos Vela was pinching in inwards. So the so U.S. could rotate the defense, its defense, toward the left. Mexico's left on right. After that, Osorio still kept pining for some sort of a miraculous penetration against uh, you know, very defensive U.S. lineup. And so, instead of putting in a second striker uh, in, in the penalty box like uh, Jimenez, he put in, kept putting in more midfielders. But it didn't really help much, even if he moved uh, Lozano from left to right, because they didn't move the ball fast enough, and they couldn't cross the ball. Now, you see some of the crosses, and they had no one in the box. So they had three central defenders marking no one. Even if Rim, uh, Tim Rim had to slide off further out, you still had Cameron and uh, Omar Gonzalez protecting the middle. And, you know, Chicharito Hernandez can run through through balls, but he's not going to out-jump Jeff Cameron and Omar Gonzalez. He didn't put in a second central striker. And that's... The game didn't change. The game kept doing the same. Now, the funny thing for the U.S. perspective is that in 2009... When U.S. beat Spain, Bob Bradley's greatest achievement as a coach in the semifinal of the Confederations Cup, he played the same scheme. He packed the defense and waited for uh, Spain to get the ball into the box. Well, they did get the ball into the box, but there was no one in the box. There was Torres and Villa play outside. So no one got in to through balls. No one got into high balls. And you think some coaches would have seen it match and would have adjusted accordingly. They haven't. Juan Carlos Osorio chickened out, put in an ultra-defensive lineup at home. He got a point. Now, Mexico's going to qualify. They're in first place. But he gave a point to the U.S. at a point he probably could have, well, he could have gotten two more. And that's how it is.